the purpose of this video is to discuss a couple of different ways that you can create polylines. You can use the polyline edit command and you can also just simply use the join command. Let me start with polyline edit. With polyline edit, first of all I've got separate arcs and lines that I would like to join together so this outside shape is one selectable piece. I can use the polyline edit command. PE is the keyboard shortcut, otherwise you can find it here in the modify section. And then you simply pick on one of the items and when you pick on it the command line is going to say hey that's not a polyline do you want to turn it into one just simply press enter to say yes then you can choose one of the options join is the one we want in this case so i can either click on it or type j and enter or right click and choose join those all work then it wants to know what do you want to add to that polyline and one of the nice things about this command is it's only going to join things that are endpoint to endpoint connected so this circle isn't, it doesn't hurt if I select it because it's going to recognize that and ignore it. But the important thing is, if you want something to be joined, there can't be a gap and there can't be any lines crossed over. They actually have to be snapped endpoint to endpoint. So when I press enter, it will have joined those together. I can enter one more time to get out of the command and I can now see that this is one selectable polyline. I'm going to use my explode command here real quick so that I can then show you another method to do this. Oops, there it is. X is the keyboard shortcut as well for explode if you want to use that. And the other method is simply the join command. This is fairly new within the last couple of years. You can use this command. You can type J and enter or you can go to modify and pick these two arrows that are pointing against each other. And all you do is you simply select all the items and press enter and it will join those together to make one selectable object. So as you can see, that method is a lot quicker. I recommend that one now that that one's available to you. But if you ever get on a, a machine that's running AutoCAD 2011 or before, you're going to have to use the polyline edit command.